Today's topic is about mindset. And that starts every single day and carries throughout the day. I'm not a very spiritual person. I don't subscribe to any philosophies about religion or mindset in that regard. But I do believe a mindset will define you and it will be a way of how people perceive you. So I am an extremely positive person. Anyone that's spoken with me knows that. I come into every conversation, every situation with a glass half full, positive outlook. And there are always going to be problems and we'll talk about how you overcome them and what that looks like. But honestly, positivity is so important where however you channel that and whoever uh, spiritual, religion, mindset, whatever gets you to that positive attitude is a win. I have a very realistic approach to my attitude. I genuinely believe everything will work out. I put in a ton of work and I think things genuinely will work out for you and the right thing happens for the right reason and the right things happen to the right people. This is sort of less spiritual and more just situational. I believe that if you put forth the effort and you have a positive attitude, the outcome is going to be what you expect and or close to it. That is the beginning of my mindset and it obviously leads to more positivity and more positive action and more positive results as I go through the day. I did a deep dive on mindset and, and looked at how people channel their positive energy and a lot of it was scientific. A lot of it had a lot of scientific data to it. Spiritual mindset, religious, meditation, I do none of these. I literally just wake up and have a very positive attitude. It is in my soul. So that that to me, I think is a gift. And if I could give that to people and I've tried giving that to my kids and they wake up and they're super positive. If you wake up every day and you're like, I'm so tired, like you're just gonna be tired. And it's gonna be that, you know, energy that you give off and people are gonna be like, what's wrong with that person? Why is he so sluggish? Just stay positive. One thing I heard, I heard a saying about 20 years ago. It's weird when I say it, 20 years. It makes me feel really old. But I did hear something 20 years ago when I was going into a situation that was probably above my pay grade. I was definitely in over my skis. I felt intimidated and a really experienced someone, someone who is actually one of my mentors in life and really respect said, everyone puts their pants on one leg at a time. And for whatever reason, that just resonates with me and it resonated with me then. And it helped me get over hurdles of maybe feeling like I was out of place or maybe feeling like I wasn't connected to that person or I wasn't in the right situation or I wasn't supposed to be engaging with someone at that level. Honestly, everyone puts their pants on one leg at a time. Stop judging yourself. Nobody cares. Bring your energy, bring your positive vibes, post whatever you're interested in on, on social media with positive attitudes. And there's always gonna be haters out there, but just be positive. Be comfortable with who you are and what you're capable of, and you're going to see fantastic results. A lot of this does come with practice and intention. And I don't wanna say that that's not important because it very much is. And my positive energy is given back to me because I set goals and I set realistic positive outcomes or a positive, sorry, I set realistic goals and then receive positive outcomes from those goals. And it becomes a re repetitive situation where I'm like, wow, this really works. And you get confidence and you start building confidence. So every day I wake up with a schedule in place and whatever that is, sometimes it's just based on my calendar. Sometimes I have a mental calendar where I'm like, all right, I'm getting up at six o'clock and I'm doing this workout. And that's not always on a, a written calendar, but it's more mental, like the days of the week and wake up with a positive attitude that will carry throughout the day again you wake up when you're like i'm tired i don't feel good that you we've all been there like genuinely had bad days and those are going to happen you feel it and other people feel that as well so try not to be that person when it's really not necessary and give yourself the motivation to get through that day so setting realistic expectations for the day the week the year is something that was really important i've talked about that before Goals are, are everything and there is no failure. I love the most recent, um, Giannis Antetokounmpo, his team just lost. It was eight seed versus a one seed and Miami beat them in the playoffs. And a reporter actually asked him, do you see this year as a failure? And he paused 
and he had the most brilliant response. And you all should honestly watch that clip on YouTube. He basically broke down a bunch of successes in the sports history. I mean, Michael Jordan played, I think, 15, 16 years, and he only won six championships. Does that mean his other nine were failures? No. Every year, every day, we set goals. And we're not going to accomplish 100% of everything, but we're going to learn, we're going to grow, and we're going to achieve things that make us a better person that you can build off of. So there are no failures. Every day, every year, every month, continue to move forward with positive attitude. Be grateful for what you've accomplished. That's super important. I don't, at the end of the day, have any gratitude, like mental mindsets, but I am very grateful for who I am and what I am and what I accomplish on a daily basis, yearly basis. I look at my family and look at how you know, accomplished they all are. I'm super grateful for that. So understand that that type of energy and that type of understanding of yourself and all of your peers is super important. Um, humor is something that I love. I think humor helps communicate a message. It helps people actually remember situations much better than just giving them data and giving them information. Like you have to be energetic. You have to be humor. All of this is going to be translatable and understanding when you're talking to clients, you're going to be like, oh, this all starts to make sense. If I'm positive, I'm going to gravitate, positive people are going to gravitate towards me and they're going to want to refer me to other people. So make sure you are that person. I, I like having healthy relationships. I think it's a really, it's a great part of my day. About 15 years ago, I made a commitment to say something positive to my wife every single day. And sometimes it's about her outfit, sometimes about how she looks, sometimes about what she's doing or her job, but it's paid dividends. It's really helped me have a very positive relationship with her. And in turn, it sees my, it, my kids see us having a positive relationship and it's setting good examples for them. So surround yourself with positive people, cut out the destruction. And honestly, you have to listen to people, give them the positive feedback that they're looking for when not only when they're looking for a home, but just in life and how they work their way through situations. There are always going to be challenges, okay? We have to understand, take the challenge. If it, if it is something that didn't work out, dissect it and figure out what happened, how to correct it and how to move forward. Every setback can be turned into a positive and you can move forward. Yes, it does hurt and there are going to be situations that are a little painful whether you're getting rejected from a listing or your friendship is failing or your relationship is failing or you, you got outbid on a multiple offer there are going to be downsides but find the positive articulate what happened whether it's to yourself or to your significant other your partner your client figure out how to move forward and have positive relationships things that you need to avoid complaining no one wants to hear it, honestly. So if you're complaining on social media, if you're continually complaining to friends and family, it is going to be a vicious cycle and a downward spiral of your self-being because you're hearing yourself complain and they're hearing your complain, and then you're gravitating towards other people that are complaining. Honestly, cut it out. It is not necessary. If there's something that's not great, I understand. We can talk about it, but the plan is to how to figure out how to fix that and move forward. Doubts and fears, again, don't second guess yourself. You are who you are, embrace that and be the best you you can be. And you're gonna have people, similar like-minded people come to you and ask questions and want to be around you if you're that positive person. Avoid being the bully. I have dealt with poor attitude, aggressive people in life, in business, and it is so destructive. I can't understand why that person does what they do, but being a bully out with them, it, it's a difficult, it's a difficult life. It's a difficult way to go through it. And I just don't really understand what that person is trying to accomplish. I don't enjoy being around them. I don't enjoy doing business with them. Avoid being the bully. Seeking approval is, is something that also shows weakness. And we try not to do that. Don't go into a situation and ask the question give the answer be confident be strong with your words and be you know affirmative that you know what you're talking about and people will respect that you may not always be right but people are going to respect what you say uh, we talked a little bit about rejection again absorb it identify what happened and move on figure out how to 
to be the better person from that situation. I, I did enjoy reading a little bit about having a plan B. And I, I've never had a plan B. I've never had like a backup plan. And people always say, what's your backup plan? I'm like, I don't have a backup plan. I have a plan A and that's what's working and that's what's happening. And that's what I move forward with. So you don't want to ever fall back. You want to fall forward. So if you have a backup plan, people tend to not work so hard on the, the primary plan. So stay, stay focused on what you're trying to accomplish. And honestly, it will work itself out. We talked about the failures. Again, everything that you're going through life and you're you're absorbing is going to be a learning experience and move forward with that in a positive mindset. That is so important. All the, the mindset and positivity translates when you're speaking with clients, touring homes, and helping people get through stressful situations. And that's really what we are. We are honestly like, I'd say 70% of our job is honestly knowing real estate and we are 20, 25% a life coach, a therapist, and dealing with massively stressful situations for people. So being positive and giving them positive feedback is so important. Be yourself, be the best you you can be. Don't try and be someone else because you guys all have such great characteristics. I've enjoyed learning all about, you know, your guys' life, your history, you, what your goals are. Keep moving forward, keep planning. I love seeing the successes that your guys are putting together. If you ever have questions or challenges that you're working through, I'm here. I'm here to help. Don't be shy. Again, I'm super proud of all of you guys. And thanks for, for joining me every week and having me be a part of your guys, both business and personal lives. If you guys have any comments or chatter about this topic or anything even real estate related, fire away. Happy to answer any questions. Had a great one on one with Instacock last week at, at an event. That was fun. Appreciate you, you inviting me out there. I thought it was a great topic. Thanks again for joining and have a great day.